Jotunheim. I have not set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch Angerboda. She knows all that happens here. These woods whisper with Jotnar magic. Not everything is as it seems. What do you see? Angerbotha's home was right here when last I visited. It may still be. Go, Sunan. Illusions. But any obstacle can be overcome if looked at the right way. The witch's house. There you are. Enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Anger, Boda. I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Our parting was bitter. He has made many enemies among the gods. My Loki. He's an acquired taste. One that can soon turn sour. I am not Loki's keeper. I have come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hugar from one body to another. The mead? You seek the mead? Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angerboda. 
You will see things my way in time. Who was your visitor? She's powerful and cruel, and none of your concern. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. Waterfall should be nearby, but I see no sign of it. If I look about, I may yet find a way to see the unseen. Sunan, guide me. hides its secrets well, but no secret is safe from me. Anger for the set to look where the red moss grows. A cavern beneath the lake. This land is savage, full of marbles. Cursed roots. Say hell is the same.
air smells strange down here. That must be the hag's claw Angerspor that spoke of. A pungent root. There should be more around. will be enough for anger, Boda. I should find my way out. turns my stomach. The boars are closing in, drawn by the smell of the root. I have done as you asked. Now where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, uh... We have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we, we may not withstand another attack. Wait. I... I did not mean to say that. I feel strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now, you have said you want the mead, but how badly. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight?
I would. I would give all that and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the world Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. Uh, 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 no, no! Wait! 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 No! could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungur shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor, say the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. Why do you want the meat? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Suttunger, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Suttunger in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgardr. Suttunger would be grateful indeed if I return that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Utgardr. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Should I search for the cauldron now, or head for Thrymir's hall? Bye. 
Here is a tree Hirokin mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jurmungandir's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. Steel and flesh met here, but Jatnar leave no corpses. Something huge was dragged this way. They turn to earth when they die, back to the tilth they came from. Bears the sign of Aegir. A ditch was dug so the card would break a wheel. This was an ambush. If it was Aegir's cauldron, they dragged through here. It must be large indeed. I need your eyes, my friend. The trail of destruction leads towards that giant root. of the great Jotun, Skrimir, dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Moss all around. 
Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand.
This place is heavily guarded.
guards here are vigilant. The missing cauldron. But how did they get it into this cave? That was not there before. Hard to know what is real in this realm of illusion. This cave is home to these Jotnar. They must have fallen far to live in such cheerless squalor. It seems his sons have been hiding here, awaiting their chance to take it back.
Too big to carry. But things are not always as they seem in your tonight. The cauldron has grown smaller. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Suttunger's favor. I could go to Utgard now. But a gift for Gunlother would improve my chances at getting the mead. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Thrym's house once stood here, before ruin came upon it. once stood here. Thrym's house once stood here, before ruin came upon it. How Thrym stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage. 
Loki often tells the tale of how Thrym stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. bridal circlet. This would be a gift worthy of Gunlothar's attention. See me, this will get messy. and drudgery is our lot. What do you see, Sunan? Survey the area soon. Small in stature, but great indeed. I am the one they call Javi, 
the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hymir's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunlother. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. about this land, my friend. <laughs> Here is the stone circle, but no way into the sanctum. Another illusion. Show me what lies ahead.
Gunlother. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep. Sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... It is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Oh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there is one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotnar. We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgot. Toil and drudgery is our lot. in our greatest discoveries are No yet. sense trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. No oh, stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. So long we made magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Your feast is prepared. 
I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Suttunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You've filled it already with mead from your vault, then. No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? Harvey fears she will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I am ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Deft of tongue and quick of wit, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and mead to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. The feast begin! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? They're calling for challengers to Abby! Show us your might! Beat that champion and we will drain our horns in your honor! Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do you mock me? I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she's truly your champion, then so be it. I'll try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. You. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. The mead is half gone. The Nagy's cauldron can be drained. They beat the champion. Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Drink in the name of Harvey! I should try the archer. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead-addled? Before each attempt, 
you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. Fine shot. Now, have a drink and try another. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Uh, not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. Is that Loki there? Surely you would not dare. Gunlother looks glum. And she has not touched a drop of mead. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I'll see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders. Yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths, and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Old age is the answer. Old age? I think age is slowing your brain. The answer is swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunger will open his vault. Thralls, humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. 
Such is the fate of the lowly. No guests in the kitchen! Out! The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. Somberous souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this hop? Go dive from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. Not you too. You'll break the strings with your sausage fingers. <laughs> Bet they won't do it. How many broken bones you think? I must be careful now. Maybe a hundred. <laughs> ah, she flew! There. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Umi has hairy balls. That was amazing. You must be half raven. Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? find some way to make the guests thirsty. Hot spices call for a cooling drink. Now how can I use this? What can I do to get them to drink faster? is empty. I should tell Sutunger. Great Sutunger. Your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish. I will open the vault. 
None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable. Finally, the vault is open. The mead awaits within. Javi? I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? Fate, Gunlothar. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nornir spin their patterns. We can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There is perfect sense in that. No, you tease and mock, but I do not believe your lies. Your only desire is the mead. You are a thief and an agent of chaos. I'll see you pay for this deceit. Guards! You're here to steal our secrets. Aren't you? Remember Fraki's <laughs> Do not do this! You cannot know the consequences! No one can! Mead. By this strange magic, my Diesia evade our doom. Hirakin has promised answers at the will of Mimir.
Harvey! There! See? The robber caught red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungur, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death. You're not going anywhere, Harvey. Deceiver! False tongue! Dishonorable trickster! <laughs> For one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. You gamble with uncountable lies. Thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Hirokin said to find her at Mimir's well. I will deal with that venomous trickster another day. 